Yes. There's a little thing in there about the interest rates. And these are compounded. <clears throat> On that scale, you'll notice a $65,000 loan at 10 years, at 10%, payment of $858.98, taxes earned $38,077.57. Interest on the return. That was in 10 years. Five years of 17,863.47. Bump it up to 12%, compounded. 10 years is 46,907.34. How long is it going to take you to uh, double your money? <clears throat> that's, that's compounded, and that's seeing the bank. Say no to capital gains and income tax. With a Roth self-directed IRA, when you put in, when you open the money that you actually put in to open it, and you can open one with 500 bucks with equity trust, is taxed. If you take the $500 and invest it into something, and I can tell you where, there's, there's places to do it where you can double your money. money goes back in. Anything you earn on that goes back in, tax-free. At the end of, when you turn 59 and a half, providing you had the, uh, the account open for five years, you can start taking it out, tax-free. That means that uh, if, if you had 10, 15 years in between there, you can do a lot of deals, a lot of a lot of different ways of investing your money. And it doesn't have to be real estate. It does not have to be real estate. I recommend real estate because I know it. But it doesn't have to be. There's tax liens, there's there's tax deeds, there's uh, many different ways that you can you can uh, work. Anybody know what a tax lien you know what it is? You know what it is, Steve. Many states have a have uh, they sell tax liens. And if you uh, if you buy a tax lien, it might be a $500 tax lien on a property. You pay it that year, you don't get paid back. But what happens if you get paid back? It's usually about 15% interest. That's great. Well, what if you didn't get paid back? Huh? Well, you pay it for two or three years, whatever the, uh, the rules are in that county or town or, or state. You may end up closing on that property and have it for fifteen hundred bucks. What a deal! What are you going to do with a fifteen hundred dollar piece of property in a in the state of Georgia or or Ohio? Very simple. You find somebody like Steve to sell it. Call or, Babs. Or Paul. <laughs> now you don't call Babs. <laughs> She'll want it for fifteen. I want it for five hundred bucks. Um, anyway, my point is. There's ways of doubling your money quickly in an IRA. <clears throat> now that house I bought in um, Buffalo for a dollar. Fellow was in trouble. He called me. He says, "Hey, I want to get rid of the house." Okay. What is it? He says, "It's uh, in Buffalo." I'm not too interested in Buffalo. He says, I don't want anything for the house. I just want to get rid of it. I, I, it's, I got code violations on it. I want it gone. I want it out of my name. I said, well, I can't legally take it off your hands for free, but I can pay you a dollar. He says, okay, I'll do it. So I paid him the dollar and put the house in my name. Well, now this gal that was out there is bad told you, she, uh, when I went out there, she had uh, a pile of rubble in the backyard from a porch that was taken down. That was a code violation. The fact that the porch was gone and the doors were boarded up. You, know, you ever see those pictures with the X's on them? Well, that's what this was. And that was a code violation. So I went about uh, trying to figure out how I was going to fix that. And I asked her, I said, uh, you got three kids, yeah. 
I said, could I hire your kids to carry some of that rubble out to the walk every week and get rid of that? You know. She said, yeah. I said, how much do they want? Give them $75, I'll get it out there. Good. 75 bucks in, the, in three weeks, they had it all out there and gone. And uh, I said, that's a good deal. So I went out there and I put up a new front porch, got it all done, down to the city, showed pictures to the city, and they were happy. Let it go, no problems. She paid me for three years, four years, four years on that. You know what that came up to? $16,800. You know what the house was worth? About twenty-five. So, did I make out on that? I spent about two thousand dollars putting a porch on it. I made out pretty good on that house, and I just collected rent. And that's all I did after that. <clears throat> There's a lot of other things that you can uh, invest in, and uh, <clears throat> now that you're going to be the bank and reap the rewards tax-free. Now. While I was in Ohio, I went to two different classes, two different days with Equity Trust. And uh, the stuff that I learned there blew my mind. One guy, uh, I think I was telling, right? Mm. I was telling you. One guy there, uh, he told me, he's, or he, he was up in front of the class, he, he was telling about, uh, how he had put 32 houses in his IRA, self-directed IRA. I said, how did you do that? He says, I bought them. I bought them in, my, in an LLC. He says, and the LLC was owned by, the, by my IRA, and the LLC owns the house. Well, I asked him, I said, well, how many houses you got? I have 32 of them. You have 32 in your IRA? He says, yes, I have 32 in my IRA. I said, man, you did pretty good. He says, no, I didn't. I wanted 50. <laughs> so I go, wow, you know, this is good. So anyway, I said, how old are you? He said, 58 and a half. I said, what are you going to do next year? Are you going to put more houses in? He said, no, I'm retiring. He can retire at 59 and a half. Now he can start selling the houses, but everything he's got in there is rented. All that rent, he's getting like 600 bucks a month for each house. Rent, it's, it's in Ohio and you know, the houses are being bought for 15, 20,000 dollars a piece. So he's getting about 600 bucks a month rent. I'm going to, you know, get out your calculator and figure that out. He's got a lot of dollars going in there every month, tax-free. And he can even take deductions on those houses. Can he retire? Well, I think he can. We start selling those houses. When he starts selling those houses, all that money <coughs> goes in tax-free, no capital gains. I think the guy's going to retire and he's going to live pretty good. Now, I asked Edwin Kelly in the meeting, and he had Yao Friday here, or whatever her name was, Sarah Lang, I think is her name. Uh, she does everything for him that he needs to get taken care of. And uh, I asked him, I said, can you, will you guys work with us on this? So we want to teach this, we want to uh, show people how to get this going. And we're doing a meetup group. We want to want to make sure this meetup group grows. Well, you look at how many of us are here, and it doesn't look like it's a very good turnout. Well, it's better than I really thought it was going to be. And if everybody here decides that they want to have a part in this, and they bring one person to the next meeting. That meeting is going to grow 
and everybody's going to start to grow, you know, financially as well. Now, they also said that um, he would have Sarah do webinars for us. You all know what a webinar is? Well, it means we can sit home you know, in the leisure of our living room or den or office, whatever we want to do, and they'll do a webinar and teach some of the things that we want to learn in a webinar. Now, I think that's huge. That's, that's a good thing. Edwin said that if he's in the area, like he does some down in New York City, or to a big RIA group, that he would come to us and teach. I think that's good. Now, we, we, uh, we actually have a form that we passed out with the books and stuff that uh, what I wanted to show you in that, with that form is anything that you have or want to know about, we'd like to know about it because then we can set up a web webinar to work with it and answer questions with that. In this other bo little booklet I've got here, um, there's another thing I wanted to show you.